curly hair. It's on our heads, in our armpits, down there, and sometimes it just shows up where you least expect it. But have you ever stopped and asked yourself, why is it curly? Not just there, but why do some people have curly hair and others don't? Let's start with the real head turner. Why is your pubic hair and armpit hair usually curly, no matter your race or head hair type? The shape of your hair follicle determines curliness. Round follicles equal straight hair. Oval or twisted follicles mean curly hair. In the pubic and armpit regions, follicles are naturally more oval, which results in curly hair. But why does the body do this on purpose? Wouldn't straight hair work just as well? Here's the wild part. Curly hair traps scent better. That's right. Our ancestors used body odor as a signal for sexual maturity, fertility, and even health. Curly hair around sweat glands acted like a little amplifier for your natural perfume. Gross? Maybe. Effective? Evolution says yes. Fun fact. Pubic and underarm hair grows in during puberty, which is also when our scent-producing glands activate. Coincidence? Not a chance. Okay. But what about the curly locks on your head? Why do some people have them and others don't? Short answer, it's genetic and evolutionary. Genes like TRPS1 and TCHH are key players. If both your parents have curly hair, there's a good chance you'll inherit it too. But it's not a simple one gene thing. Think of it like a recipe. You need a mix of genes in the right ratios, stirred up in just the right way. Curly hair evolved in hot climates, like Sub-Saharan Africa, because it's amazing at shielding the scalp from the sun, letting heat escape from the head. Meanwhile, in colder climates, straight hair kept heads warmer. So basically, your hair is a built-in climate control system. But wait, what about people with curly hair in non-hot places? That's where migration, mixing, and evolution's randomness comes in. Humans have moved around a lot, so curly-haired genes made their way all over the globe. Also, sometimes traits just stick around. Even if they're not necessary, they don't hurt survival. So evolution's like, yeah, cool, keep it. Some studies suggest that curly hair might have signaled status or attractiveness in ancient communities, helping individuals stand out. Fast forward to today, and curly hair is still a big part of identity, culturally, personally, and socially. In some cultures, curly hair has been celebrated, in others, it's been stigmatized or even politicized. But today, there's a massive movement toward natural hair acceptance, and that's amazing. So whether it's in your pits, your pants, or on your crown, curly hair has a story. A story of biology, survival, and beauty. Remember, it's not random. It's nature's twisty little masterpiece. Before we wrap up, here are some weird and wonderful hair facts you can drop at your next party. If you stretched out all the hair on your body, it could add up to around 20 meters long, most of it nearly invisible. Your hair is made of keratin, the same stuff as your nails, and the outer layer of a rhino's horn. Tight curls can protect your scalp from sunburn in extreme heat, but in cold weather, they let heat escape faster. The average person has around 100,000 hair follicles on their head, and you're born with all of them. You never grow new ones. Like, comment, and tell us your curly hair theory below. And don't forget to subscribe for more weird and wonderful body facts. Why curly? Because nature has style.